So I grew up in uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So I was originally born in Germany and my dad's German, my mom's from Florida. So I grew up in Florida and was swimming, running, playing tennis. Really wanted to be a professional tennis player. Um, I was training at the same academy as Serena and Venus Williams, which is pretty cool. Uh, definitely looked up to them. And I actually had an injury on my foot and uh, wanted to try triathlons just because the bike was a little bit better on joints and I was only 10. So my dad was into cycling being from Germany and found a velodrome in Cooper City that was only 15 minutes from our house. And I learned how to competitively ride on the velodrome and competed in junior nationals about less than a year later. And I was just hooked. It was so much fun. Are there any events that you won't do on the track that you're just like, I've tried it and I don't think I want to do it again? Um, I don't really like points races because it's like you got to you gotta sprint, rest, sprint again. I, I like, you know, sprinting is so it's, it's, you're at a hundred percent maximal capacity. I mean, you're doing a 200 meter qualifier, which seeds you in the event and then you bracket, you race fastest versus slowest. And you know, it's, it's a long day of racing. It's, I can't say that sprinting is easier than endurance. I mean, they're all hard in their own way. Um, it's definitely just challenging too, because I'm adding type one diabetes on top of that too. Um, racing all day, there's a lot of variables that go into that, you know, to, for me to manage a, I'm an athlete first, but also living and racing with diabetes has been like a huge process um, for me to, to learn how to do that. Um, so going from endurance to sprint was definitely challenging too. Right. Right. And then search for colleges and decided to come back to Pennsylvania here to, to go to Penn State. And I met also Team Nova Nordisk, which we were at the time Team Type 1. Um, and I was racing and being amongst other athletes with diabetes, and that was life-changing. And that gave me hope. And I got to see, like, wow, this is, this is tough. And everybody obviously is managing their diabetes differently, but we're all racing with a purpose. And that's really helped drive a lot of um, what I do today and how I view life on the bike. Racing in the U.S. compared to, to Germany, is there a... Uh, from a from a mentality point of view uh, from a training point of view can you, can you talk a little bit about that and if there are any any differences there yeah growing up in florida there wasn't a lot of cyclists my age racing um i just really other than that nationals and when i'd come here to race at the velodrome um i'd be racing against people my age but when i moved to germany and got more of racing you know with people in Europe and racing. I did race in the Netherlands, um, was a guest rider for the national team as a junior. And uh, yeah, I really got to see like, wow, this is so competitive. This is much more competitive. It's a lot harder. Um, you know, there are races every weekend. You would see the same people. You would travel to all these different little towns and race. And when you went to nationals, you would go and re represent state. Um, so it was just, yeah, it was just a different experience. And um, yeah, it's really kind of given me a, a, like a good perspective of what it's like racing in Europe. And I've made a lot of good friends there too. So now that I'm racing today with, uh, you know, the national team and I see the German riders, um, some of the sprinters, and I'll talk to them in German. Sure. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of cool to, to, to have, that, have had that experience. And we have a really strong, you know, team pursuit program. So there's there's a strong force in USA Cycling, and um, you know, proud to be one of the cyclists on the team, and and uh, just going after going after my dream, and um, you know, whether I make it to the Olympics or not, which I really hope I do. That would definitely be a pinnacle of my athletic career. Um, I just know that the bike has just taught me so many great things, and I met so many awesome people. Right. The speed skating is, I think, is one of those. Yeah, I think a lot of people too get discouraged because they're like, "Oh, I have to have like this bike and, mm -hmm. and this equipment." It's like, no. I when I first started, I was I was on borrowed equipment. Mm -hmm. you know, the Veldrum here has bikes that you're able to rent, and the community programs, the bikes are free then with the community program um, registration that you sign up for. Mm -hmm. It's like I think about a couple months of um, every week you're you're training amongst other people your age and they also have programs for adults so it, there's no people always get so discouraged because it's like they don't have that piece of equipment or they think it's so expensive and it, it is an expensive sport but that's why I think 
making friends in the community, bike shops, um, going to races, just talking to people. There's a lot of people that are friendly in the sport. And, um, you know, I've actually coached at Penn State Lehigh Valley. And um, there's a, a few people that I've never even knew the sport of cycling, really. And I've had some barred equipment and some clothing of mine. And, you know, they fell in love with the sport. And, like, all, that's all it takes, you know, just to, to get people – in and involved and just give them that opportunity and oh it's yeah it's 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 a it's a cool it's a cool sport and i wish more people in the u.s did it um 